Greetings. I am crispy. In the catch. I like in. I am another you. You are another me. And we are Jack Black. I am so excited to do the Mayan embodiment astrology for Mr. Jack Black today. I wonder if that's his real name. It's kind of cool. I wonder if his real name is actually Jake Blake. That kind of sounds like I'm from New Zealand. Jake Blake, yes. Or uh, Jake Blake. Now I'm from Australia. Or Jock Block. Jock Block. Now I'm a wealthy Londoner, or Jack Black, now I'm from LA, Jack Black, or Jack Black, I could do the 21 accents of Jack Black, ooh, that means I need to do Russian, Jack Black, or uh, French, Jacques Bloch, Jacques Noir. <laughs> Sorry, where was I? Ah, that keeps happening to me. <laughs> All right, well, it's a bit of a long story, Jack, and I am talking to you now. But before I became a Mayan astrologer, I went to the jungles of Mexico, and uh, specifically Palenque, I climbed the steps of the Jaguar Shaman Pyramid. That's where I got this rock. And that's where I got this. No, maybe you can't see that. Copal, amazing incense. And that's where I wrote you this song. It was before I even met you in the year 2000. I, I, went, I went down there in 99 and before I even met you, I wrote this song. When the fantasy has ended And all the ravers are gone Something deep inside me Helps to carry on I didn't eat their drugs But I smoked their grass All my fake friends can kiss my lips. No, 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 no way, Jose. I won't break my vows ever. Incarnacion. Hunabku and the Zoki in. Incarnacion. Hunabku and Zoki in. Time to get back to the video. Sorry about that, Jack. One take, no practice, obviously. Anyway, buddy, I am now going to introduce you to yourself. Okay, my friend, who actually I've never met, <laughs> and um, just to be clear, um, that Copal I got from a very cool store in Japan, so that's not quite true either, but I did climb to the top of the Jaguar Shaman Pyramid in Palenque and many other pyramids. 
Anyway, here we go. Oh, and I did write that song for you, but that was just now today. So that's why the lyrics were so shit. Okay, um, <clears throat> your birth glyph and tone, also called your heart sign and number, or your core self, is stabilizing rainstorm. And here are the key words for tone four. Wholeness, foundation, definition, measurement, rules of the game, shape of the square. And your key words for the glyph rainstorm are cleansing, purification, nourishment, home and family, divine feminine, tough love, healthy community, lightning in the blood, thunder being. Now, one of the things I always do for my clients and friends is combine some of the key words from their glyph and their tone into what I call high-frequency vibrational phrases, or high-vibe phrases, or high-energy phrases. So here's some for you. You are the definition of a thunder being. Rules of the tough love game. Whole nourishment. And I'm not saying you get wholly too much nourishment. I'm not saying... Oh, I did just say that. Sorry. Uh, home and family foundation. The foundation of home and family. And measurement of the divine feminine. Now let's move to your outer face, your public self, how other people see you, your divine masculine guide. You know, before I punch anybody's birthdays into the system, I always take a moment to think about that person, if I know them, and guess what their sign and tone would be. And I got you totally wrong, Jack. Well, not totally. <laughs> I thought you were a monkey, so pff, duh, right? And I actually thought you would be a tone 12, meaning complex stability, the cube. And um, those are both actually in your chart, as you'll see. But... Um, Tone four, stability. Hey, come on, right? That's you. And um, one of the key characteristics of tone 12 people is complex stability. So you can see where I went with stability there. And so I'm not really wrong, okay? <sighs> um, and monkey, blue sign, and you, my friend. You are the rainstorm, lightning in the blood, thunder being, duh. So yeah, monkey rainstorm, no connection, sorry. Blue, blue, yeah. Uh, the other thing that I think is extremely cool, and I knew this had to be in your chart somewhere, is tone 11. Now, if you know anything about me, and why wouldn't you? I picture tone 11 as being the two bars and the dot underneath. Um, I know that's a little hard for you to comprehend, so uh, let me just show you here. Five, 10, 11, okay? Like this. You, sir, are rolling and balancing in your whole life as your right-hand man, your divine masculine energies. So simple, right? 
And then the other thing about your Divine Masculine is... It's family. It's corn. It's nourishing. And this ties directly into the rainstorm. Nourishment. Cleansing. Uh, the Divine Feminine. It's incredible, actually, but the Maya had you pegged all along. Or you chose your birthday because you knew that today I would put this video out there and you would see it and remember. I love how this works. All right. Let's keep looking. All right, so let's take a look at the glyph first. Ben, he's called. Corn, cane, reed, and bamboo. Keywords, family, again. Home, again. Usefulness, practical, pragmatic. And the keywords for Tony Levin, resolving. Discernment. Promise, problem solving, counterbalancing, detail oriented, controlled chaos. And here's some of the high frequency vibrational phrases is, is, is. Controlled chaos of family and home. I don't know you, Jack, and I don't really know anything about your childhood or your family and home now even, but this is what the Maya are telling you. Useful, controlled chaos. Practical, controlled chaos. Pragmatic, problem-solving. Counterbalancing, practicality, or practical, counterbalancing. Very interesting. I like it. So let's move up to your other right-hand man, staying in the left brain, the masculine and the ego. Now, remember I was talking about the monkey? There it is. In your masculine side of your brain mind thingy, uh, your past wisdom, what you learned from your father, your grandfather, your great-grandfather, and really anything from any ancient culture about performance, art, artistry, those things. And the tone here is nine, which means patient, among other things. So let's take a look at some of those other things. All right, so the key words for tone nine, patience, persevering, steadying, lucky, fortunate, totality, doorway, eyes on the prize, Goal-oriented. And the key words for monkey, creativity, weaver of time, art, artisans and artistry, curiosity, play, and performance. Okay, here comes some of the high vibe phrases. Creative perseverance. Lucky artisan. Fortunate artist. Total curiosity. Eyes on the prize play and playing with your eyes on the prize. And how about this one? Goal oriented performance. Very cool. All right, so now we're going to cross up and over the Corpus Callosum, which is you at the bottom, and the ninth glyph being offering, like the ofrenda. 
Now we've crossed over into our left hand side, which is our right mind, as you know. And here we have the complex stability of the deer. Looks like a hand, but it's a deer. It's the hand of spirit. This is your future guide. And so I know things have been really rough in the past and you haven't done any good movies since Nacho Libre, but just trust it's going to be okay. You have complex stability in your future along with the protecting hand of spirit, the deer, the number one spirit animal in the Popo Vu, the Mayan creation myth. The very first animal mentioned was the deer. There's got to be a reason for that, or some reasons. Let's see if we can figure some of that out. And starting with your future guide. And the key words for the glyph of the deer are hand of protection, respect, regal, grace, power, generous, cooperative. And for tone 12, understanding, accomplishing, cohesion, interconnecting, architect, council, completion, complex stability, and the cube. And here are some of the high power phrases that if you incorporate into your daily life now, you will virtually guarantee the creation of your best possible future. Accomplishing cooperation. Cohesive generosity. Graceful and regal complex stability. Interconnecting power. Now we're going to go deeply into the inner mind of Monsieur Jacques Noir. Now, your future vision, we understand. And now we're going to look at your divine feminine. Now this is a little secret that nobody really knows about you, but you are extremely feminine. I would say 50%. The guiding energy of the rainstorm is divine femininity. And here, on your divine feminine guide power, we have manifesting serpent kundalini two hands that's kind of yeah it's in there though okay so as if you didn't know this you have a snake inside you ah, lightning in the blood koyo pa the chakras kundalini it's you you would just settle down long enough to feel it. Just sit down and let that feeling rise. <sighs> this goes for everyone listening to. It's not just cheek bleak. Sorry. Let's continue. The energy of all tone ten people and days are manifesting, co-creating, setting intentions, cooperation, collaboration. And the key words for the all-powerful serpent are vitality, 
renewal, sensuality, kundalini, koyopa, instinct, adaptability. And here are some of your high power phrases. Co-creating kundalini, cooperative Koyopa setting kundalini intentions collaborative adaptability wow some fascinating energies here jack and one of the things i've been noticing with many of these videos i've been doing which reflect a lot of the other readings I do for people is that when someone is generally in their own power, when they are creative, when they are powerful people, all four of their guides' energies are already being used by the person. Perhaps they can get more out of their guides in certain areas, and once they understand them through this perspective, I pretty much guarantee everyone that they will be more self-actualized people. But it seems clear, sir, that you are using all of your powers in appropriate ways. Now the next energy that affects every person, and something I haven't focused on in any other video yet, is their position in the pyramid wave flow because that tone one day emanates a very powerful energy that each of the next 12 days helps to accomplish like a mission or a message or an underlying mood or even a color to the rest of the pyramid. Uh, you are at tone four, so that means if you go back three steps, here's you, all right? 199. You are the 199th day out of 260. And to find your pyramid wave flow, you go back to the previous one. And in your case, that is the wise one wave flow. So I don't know what happened for you, but it just didn't happen, buddy. I'm kidding. I know you're actually brilliant. Obviously. If they could just see it. Why don't they understand your brilliance? It's okay. Now here's the way that plays out in your life. So now I'm going to read to you directly from a wonderful book called The Serpent and the Jaguar by Birgit Racine, and I think that's the correct pronunciation, about the Tresenya, or pyramid wave flow, of Kib, also called Ashmak in the Highland Guatemala pronunciation. Kib being the Yucatecan pronunciation. So here we go. Kib, or Ajmak in Kiche Maya, represents the wisdom and the souls of our ancestors, of the ancients that came before us, both in our own bloodline and in the human family now inhabiting the earth. The energy of Kib embodies our connection to the long history of life through evolution, through the millions of years that have elapsed and blessed our planet with the diversity of life we see today, and the sanctity of consciousness, free will, and love. Kib also represents forgiveness, pardon, sin, and pleasure. So somehow, sir, all of these energies are influencing you in your life. And for me, I do believe the very most important word here 
is forgiveness. Okay, and lastly, Joke Bloke. <laughs> hey, I think I found your real name. <laughs> joke Bloke. <laughs> All right, sorry. The last thing I'm going to mention to you is something that no other system actually mentions. Have you noticed so far that I've only been speaking about the reds and the blues? Doesn't that make you kind of curious about the world of white and yellow? In uh, the lingo of the Mayan embodiment astrology system, which I created, it's called your directional family. What this describes is you, born right here in the West, and who were the other three people in the other three positions. Uh, so let me explain that and how it relates to the other two colors that are not in your chart. So this concept is a little bit hard to explain, especially if one only uses the rectangular grid form of the Zolkin to envision their Mayan Tree of Life astrology, also known as Mayan Cross or Destiny Path. And in fact, without being able to view things through the embodiment perspective of putting yourself, myself, ourselves, all of us, inside the Zolkin, you can't really see this at all. So, to keep things simple, all blue people relate to all white signs with logic, facts, data, calculations, money, dates, times. So again, basically the cold, hard ego. Especially for you, Jake, your deepest connection with the white people is the Jaguar Shaman, and even more specifically, this would be the Tone 12, Understanding Jaguar Shaman, a great person to have in your life. Now, Tone 12 does show up twice in your chart, and I'll explain that in another video. So now you have to go figure out everybody you know's Mayan astrology. <laughs> and I suggest this website for the quick glance version. And you can try this one for a slightly more advanced, although uh, more like the keyword phrases for each glyph and tone. Now, Looking deeper, joke, you are blue, water, emotions, and all white people are air and spirit. So the way that all emotionally based people relate to all spiritually based people is through the right hand and into the left brain, the ego which is totally cool and fine. The ego is real and valid and here, and it's part of our psychological makeup. And as long as the ego is balanced by the divine feminine, it can just go ahead and be the kick-ass divine masculine protector, hunter, and provider that it was meant to be. Speaking of the Divine Feminine, your left hand, leading to your right mind, connects to all yellow people, specifically your patient seed friend, with creativity, physical and emotional intimacy, intuition, and artistry. Now... Aren't you curious about your wife's and children's and friends' Mayan astrology? Yep, I know. Be careful, though. This perspective is not only paradigm-shifting, it's addictive. 
but in a good way. And currently, as of November 2021, I happen to be the only human being doing Mayan embodiment astrology, but the other systems are good too, bro, so don't sweat it. Now, touching back in here, the watery, emotional thunder being that you are processes all the yellow signs, the fire and mental beings. They're not mental, I mean, they process their world with their mind, their thoughts. Sorry. You, Blue, process the yellow family with your watery emotionalness. So this naturally makes steam and can be a tad messy for both of you unless you're both aware of these things. And even in that case, it will still be steamy. So good or bad, that's up to you. Um, there's always the tones to consider between people's relationships, but that's another issue and uh, probably another video I need to do. So yeah, I think for today that's enough information for you to download and integrate because I know you're a busy man. Okay, mi amigo. I hope this has been helpful to you. Jock Block and uh, anyone else who is Kan Kawak and anyone else who's been watching out of curiosity. Um, I do want you to know that I am another you and you are another me. We are one, one consciousness that has divided itself infinitely to experience reality in as many possible ways as possible ways to experience reality through. Ooh. So, namaste. In the kitchen.